Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. Don't worry, you've clicked on the right one. I know you're probably reading that this is a turkey vlog, something along them lines, but I'm heading there in the morning, I promise. I just wanted to start this vlog off because I just end up getting caught up on travel day and not actually documenting much. And I've got quite a lot to do in the morning before we head to the airport. So I thought I would start now because I've just had a shower and I've, I'm rubbing my eyes, but I've got quite a lot of energy. So I thought I'll start the video now whilst I'm sorting out my hair, getting my life together. We just went to see Brett Young in London. So good. I've already seen him before, but I forgot how much I love, how much I love country music so much. And I come home with Georgia and Leon as well, they were there. It was just such a good night. Not your normal Sunday, but I will not complain. And I like to just prep the night before going away and traveling and doing my hair before I go because it's just one less thing to think about. I have literally only just started packing tonight as well. And I'm just gonna finish it in the morning. It's really tricky because we're going at a really weird time of year and some days look like they're gonna be really nice and we're gonna be lucky and then other days not so much I mean we're only going for a week but I just don't really know what to pack so I'm kind of just avoiding it <laughs> so here I am just doing anything but packing but it's getting late so I'm literally yeah I'm just gonna leave it till the morning but anyways, before I start my hair, I just wanted to say a big shout out to Shark Beauty. This part of the video is kindly sponsored by them and I'm so excited because you guys are going to love this tool so much. I am obsessed. You've probably seen this tool all over social media, over TikTok. This is the Shark Flex style. This is my new baby. I love this tool so much. I'm going to show you all the cool things it does. There's so many attachments and it's made... Styling my hair so much quicker and easier. First things first, my favorite thing that I have to show you is this, the rotation mechanism, how it goes from a hair dryer. Let me turn it on for you. The 180 twist. I just, I just, I don't know what it is. I'm just obsessed. It's so compact and it's perfect for things like traveling, which this is going straight in my case. And then flips back up and you can add the attachments and then it's a styling tool as well so you literally don't need anything else because there's everything in one i'm going to show you all my attachments which are packed very neatly in my case there are five attachment tools and you can literally do every single hairstyle imaginable with these tools if you're like me and you get a little bit overwhelmed when you see loads of add-ons and gadgets and you're like oh my god what do i do with all these attachments i actually find it really handy to just flick through the little manual and there's little pictures where you can see how to use each section but you'll make the most of each section honestly any hair type anyone will be able to use these because they are so versatile you can wave curl straighten blow dry you name it they're all in this kit and you just add it to the end sort them out put them back in your carry case and you're good to go because my hair is so thick, I am going to rough dry it really quickly before I put on one of the attachments, give you a little time lapse and show you what I'm going to do with my hair. But just to show you as well, there's different heat levels and different strengths because everyone's got different types of hair, obviously. For example, my nan literally hates putting really hot tools on her head because her hair's a lot more thin than mine. My hair can take it, so you can control that and set it to whatever temperature you like. My hair's about 90% dry. I'm not actually gonna curl my whole head of hair even though I'd say these are my favorite attachments just cause it's the best finish ever, such long lasting results and honestly fascinating. But because I'm going to sleep, that's the reason. You watch the magic, these are auto wrap curlers. And then you stop it, pull the curl out. That was it. So if you have it like 80, 90% dry, obviously it's drying as you go as well. So you're saving time anyway. 
And then you just put a little bit of hairspray on and it's like a bouncy blow dryer. But like I said, as I'm going to bed, I'm just gonna go in with the brush tool. And I think that is all I'm gonna do for now. I've just given myself a sleek, swooshy blow dryer using this tool so quick and it gets rid of all my flyaways my hair's left nice and smooth and i'm good to go so if you want to know more about shark or if you want to try it out i'll put the link in my description box best time to be asking for this guys is for christmas what a good christmas present you honestly not need another hair tool because you have every single attachment with this that you will need i am exhausted my eyes are sore but i think it's two concerts on the trot I went to Blast on Saturday and then obviously Brett Young tonight. That was in my last vlog, seeing Blast. And it's taken its toll on me, it really has. So I'm going to clear up and go to bed and get ready to get up nice and early in the morning to prep everything for the airport. So guys, I will see you bright and early in the morning. guys welcome back we are in turkey i didn't vlog much at the airport i literally done oh you can see the sea there so how is the beach there Maybe but we're in turkey i was gonna say it's our first time in turkey but we've both been here once before but i definitely don't remember it say hi but we are actually here for this guy we're not really here for a holiday but the weather looks quite nice so I'm hoping that we can get some nice weather. As you can see I'm literally putting on makeup so the aim of this trip is not actually um, to treat it like a holiday and sunbathe or whatever. I would like to do Turkey properly at some point, maybe next year because whenever we go on holiday we speak to people and they always say that they love Turkey and we always say we'll come here but we've literally come here for like appointments and stuff so we're actually here because Kassam has some dentist appointments. So when we're in the UK, we, over like the last year, we've been to a few dentist appointments together, whether they're for me, for him, and in the end I think we figured out what he wanted to have done. By the way, I'm not just speaking for him, I just said, do you want me to just explain it, because I just get my words out better. And um, you can cut in at any point. For sure. <laughs> and um, we went to a few appointments, and... Basically, we figured out from a lot of British dentists that were amazing, by the way. He, the look he wanted to go for was veneers. And as you can probably work out for yourself, the price in the UK is so different to the price in Turkey. And don't think we've just jumped in and come to Turkey and not done any research. We have literally done like so much research, like probably like half the year. And also, we know people that have... Oh, that's very pink. We, know Do you know, we didn't even contemplate it until you saw that guy at the uh, airport. We were still literally going back and forth to London appointments and getting close to the option of going somewhere in London. I knew someone that came here and went to the dentist that Cass is going to today and they couldn't do anything but sing their praises. And then it looked like the more we looked into it, everyone had been to this place that we'd been looking at. Like you look online and everyone comes here, don't they? Yeah. And then the more I was talking about it to like my family and friends and stuff, people were like, oh yeah, I know someone that went there. They absolutely loved it. The only bad thing I think people ha like have with Turkey is they say if something goes wrong, you've got to go back to Turkey. But that's like anything. If something goes wrong with your teeth and you've had them done in London and you're not from London, you'd still have to go into London to get them sorted. So I think it's just weighing up whether, you know, you've got to get on a flight basically to come out here, but the hope is that nothing goes wrong. Yeah, so we've done a lot of research. We're here for a week. This is day one. So literally gonna take you along and I just thought it could be interesting to document it and see how it goes. Can I say like, 
your you just want to fix this one thing you'd probably like want to fix if you had the choice yeah you've always sure. said that yeah, yeah 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 so it's not again it's not something jumped into it's something that he's always wanted to do and you know sometimes if you don't just jump into something and do it you'll never do it so i'm going to take you along we're going to the dental center turkey do i look crazy <laughs> i'm going to put any makeup on but put a little tiny bit on i've also got makeup done my dress we got here last night we missed dinner we got here, it's three hours ahead so we slept in and now we've missed breakfast so we're on a really big roll and i sound like i'm a bit bunged up but we both I said we that. feel jet lag lagged as well don't we it's the weirdest thing but anyways just wanted to intro this and say hi and we're gonna go down and see if we can Clean. Anyway, we're gonna get out, we're gonna go get some food, let her in. And um Come in. I'm gonna take you along. And it's gonna be like you guys are basically here. Let me show you my dress here. The bump is bumping, even Cass said, Wow, you look pregnant today. <laughs> and we're in this dress from Tala. And it's just well, it's blue vibes. It looks like I'm giving boy vibes, but no, I should have got pink. And also taking my book, started this because I might need something to keep me occupado. I'm actually excited that this is gonna be like a chill trip for me. Yeah, not for me. <laughs> Good update, it's actually really warm. I mean, I'm still wearing a jacket, but it's, well, I'd say it's early, we missed breakfast, like I said. It's quarter past 11, but breakfast finished at 10, so I'm just eating like snacks. But since being pregnant, especially, to be fair, I was like it before, Cass just gone to get us drinks. Um, I have to eat in order. Like he's gone and got chips and like meat and stuff and kind of skipped to lunch. I can't do that. So I've got like as breakfasty as I can get bread and butter and some fruit. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say it feels like it's like 25 degrees, which is actually really nice. Good to get some vitamin D. Thank you. What have we got? Coffee. coffee. Well, that's quite breakfasty. I reckon I've done a coffee. We're on our way to this one's first appointment. <laughs> Are you nervous? Only like anticipation. Nervousness of anticipation. Can we have a before? Here he is. <laughs> I hate I don't think much is going to be done today, I'm going to be honest. But the weather is beautiful. East Coast always in me, Commonwealth, Lil Joe, getting love from my city. Yeah. I roll call for the DMV. In my own lane, you could still ride with me. Yeah. First clip of the day was me putting the makeup on, now it's me taking it off. We just got back and pretty much today was getting a plan for the rest of the week and just talking through the colours which I would have shown you. I got to pick the colour. <laughs> no Hollywood bright white over here. And they're right, huh? <laughs> we might go a shade lighter. No! We might, we'll see. We'll see what you it looks signed like. it now. Yeah, you can change it. Mm. Now we've come back and we've still got some of the day left. So we thought, should we go and have a little moment in the spa? And there's obviously not much I can have done. So I'm going to have a pregnancy massage. We've just booked it all in. So I'm just taking my makeup off so I can 100% just chill you know and if they need to rub my face they can rub my face but anyways i'm gonna leave the camera up here because it needs to charge we're not even really gonna be together he's having a what are you having a hacker Hacker. what's it called haman haman i'm not really sure what it is see you shortly good afternoon i just remembered that i put in my tripod which is handy because there's literally nowhere to put this camera that's like eye level that's near the window because it's quite dark in this room but it's the 17th of november today it's our three year anniversary so we're actually gonna go out tonight we're gonna leave the hotel last couple of days not been doing loads honestly just been treating this as a re rewind unwind yeah like a, some downtime because Obviously, Cass is here for his appointments, and I'm just, you know, just here to crash the event. And I never get the chance to just have an excuse to do nothing. But I wasn't allowed to be in the room with Cass yesterday, so I didn't even go. But just to bring you up to speed whilst I'm getting ready, without turning this into a get ready with me, 
uh what's he had done so i think he's had three appointments now you guys would have seen a little bit so the first one then yesterday was like his prepping his teeth for the porcelain veneers that was like a three hour thing yesterday so i'm glad i wasn't there because i would have been bored out my brain today was a presentation day which was earlier i've got a few clips so i'll put them over the top and today was really interesting actually because it's like the side by side before and after of what his teeth were like slash are at the moment he's got like these temp kind of molds on it's really weird i can't explain but they literally look just like his normal teeth just to see him over till saturday because saturday is like the big grand reveal day and then yeah today was like the side by side of like the changes and they are so clever there the whole time all we've said is natural 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 like do not want that fake look at all basically what i'd do if i was getting my teeth done but i really like my teeth i'm quite lucky with the shape and how my teeth stayed really nice after i had braces so yeah the before and afters and the look they've achieved we literally i thought it was gonna be like no can you change this 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 like they kept the like without boring you the vampire you know what i mean these teeth are like a little bit longer so it really gives that natural look none of that like straight i just said to him like, at the end of the day it's your teeth obviously you can make the decision but i will be telling you my opinion whether you want it or not and i just think why lose that natural look i was gonna say can you come and show your teeth right now here he is they're a bit stained though no you don't have to get super close i just explained how like a bit lower a bit lower a bit lower <laughs> But like you a bit lower <laughs> that's it so they literally look like his teeth it's very strange i'm not really sure how it works why well, in the background i mean don't strip i was about to strip no, no don't <laughs> do you want me to stop no, it's okay, don't so tonight we've booked a restaurant that's like half hour away we went on tiktok and typed in best recommendation restaurants in antalya where we're staying, I don't even know if I say that right. When I was at Iceland the other day, they said it completely different and they're Turkish, so they definitely know how to say it. And a lot of people said that this Nemo restaurant is really nice, it's like aquarium vibe. I roll call for the DMV in my own lane, you could still ride with me. I yeah. completely forgot I packed this dress. I love this. This is from Naked, it's just a tube dress. See the bump better here. She's been kicking a lot the last couple of days. Cass is still yet to feel it, but we're working on it. And there we go. That is my 20 minute glam. I've just blow dried my hair and slicked it back a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a denim jacket on because it's a little bit chilly. And then earrings to dress it up as always. And I've only bought one bag away with me, my little black Prada bag. And that is Look at this beautiful place we're at. <gasps> this is called the Land of Legends. So we fit in nicely. Oh, <laughs> and it's like a shopping centre with, that sounds really boring, <laughs> but dinner and then there's this little boat trail where the boats come along here. We might actually go on one. And I think there's more stuff too. And then there's an amusement park. It's one of them. There's just, just so never all year round because of Christmas. No, I think it's probably like this, you know, because we saw it on TikTok. <gasps> wow. So we're going to have a little mooch round. And it's weird to see, like, legit shops instead of <laughs> fake. little market stores with fake stuff. <laughs> I am wearing something completely brand new today. This denim jacket, I honestly, I don't know why I only bought one jacket. I knew it was gonna be, what? New. Shut up. Anyways, I'm wearing a jumpsuit today. And then I've got these new Key Australia sunglasses. They sent me some new ones before I come away. And we're actually gonna go for a little walkabout because the weather's trash today, but 
pretty sure all the shops here are just fake. It's just blowing my mind. It's fine. But I'm going to take you along and show you what I mean if you've never been to Turkey. I mean, everyone did say to me that it's like the land of fakes, but I'm just mind blown. Like, it's shop after shop after shop after shop after shop. Right, we're in one of the shops, one of the 8 million shops. And I'm filming on my phone because I don't know if they're going to tell me not to film. But it's just crazy, like how that they're literally birkins obviously they're not but it's just it blows my mind but this is literally all there is to do in turkey if you're shopping like you walk out the hotel and there's just like eight million of these shops <laughs> good morning happy saturday look how wrapped up i am in turkey the weather is atrocious when i'm back outside i'll show you but it's like the roads are flooded they obviously aren't prepped for the bad weather and there's not enough drainage here but we're at the dentist now it's Cass's um, day where the final teeth are like fitted like the finished look so I'll give you a overview because I think I'm gonna be here for a couple of hours sorry I ended that clip just now which was like two hours ago quite abruptly because all the dentists walked in but thank god I've bought my book which by the way I'm on chapter six <laughs> And I've had this book since we got here. I suppose I thought I'd be finished it by now, but it's been a bonding trip. And now we're in, in here on our own. So come over. You got water around your mouth. I actually can't feel my bottom lip. So he's had loads of injections in his mouth. Hello. And wait, can you this, lower it? I can do this. Wait, look, I've not even seen. Wow. So nice. Wait, so the bottom's top, done? Yeah, the top one's got my false ones in. The top one's what? Got my, my temporary ones in. Okay. You're talking so funny. What a lot of fat lip. I didn't know they'd do more injections today. Yeah, it's so sensitive when they took the other ones out. What is the time? How long do you think we'll be here for then? How long did that take? An hour. Yeah. God, this is love. I've literally given up my whole week for you. But just checking in. The weather here is so bad I actually can't cope. I'm actually so excited to go home. And whilst we've been away, this happened last time we was away. I think major to worry about, but my nan's fallen over and she's in hospital. But this literally happened when we was in Ibiza in the summer as well. And it's always when I'm away and it just, it does panic me a bit that I'm not there, but yeah, just trying to sort of talk to my brother and just make sure she's okay. But I'm excited to get home now. Cass has just jumped out the car to get something from the shop, but look. <laughs> the weather, I was not joking. <gasps> Can you hear that? I mean, I know it's not the season to be in Turkey, but it's actually crazy. The roads are flooded. <laughs> I'll be in my own space of mind, making boss moves in my own time, and I got my own rush. Find me. Good morning. I'm loving the pony um, braid at the moment and I literally haven't worn makeup pretty much this whole week which has been fun <laughs> look who it is behind the camera honestly smiley muck smile pants since you've had these gnashes but I realised we didn't actually show them yesterday so here's the big reveal three two under the um <laughs> oh you wouldn't freaking know you're wasted you know the um princess diaries thing where they like remove the two pictures from the side and they're like we present to you a princess. Oh, you're wait literally wasted. I said, I'll do this. Ready? So, starting off, I'm going to put the picture on the screen of what you before. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're actually not. I give to you three, two, one. A princess. Smile. Wow. Oh wow, I look like a toe in the background. They look unreal. Congratulations. Are you happy? Can I get some food now? Are you happy though? Yeah, I just wanted to vlog before we went down for lunch, but I'm excited to be going home because the weather, like I said, has been so bad. This is literally what he's been like. Every time I catch him, he's like looking in the mirror. But you're, you're happy, aren't you? Yeah. And, Very happy. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link where we went. Not an ad, but literally, we're so impressed. We were saying last night, I was like, what would you give the whole thing out of 10? 11. And he said 11. I mean, 
I obviously can't really rate because it wasn't for me, but from what I saw the days I was there, he's got to go back tomorrow just before we go home just to check there's any last minute, like... Bike correction. Yeah, just to check because obviously once we're home, we're home. But it's literally so good. I think as soon as people hear turkey, they're like, you're going to turkey to get turkey teeth. Like a few people actually DM me like, don't let him do it. And I was just like, if you think we've gone into this without any research, and if you think I'm gonna let my boyfriend come away looking like an idiot with actual like turkey teeth, I knew he wanted really natural teeth and I honestly think you've smashed it. Well, to, be, to be fair, I, they did. I think I've smashed it. No, but didn't like- It was, we, a, we, it was we, me. No, we were saying yesterday, <laughs> they didn't like, we just walked in and said, we want really natural and they're like, okay. And w went away and come back with this. We didn't have to like correct anything or be like, don't be too extreme here. Or... Yeah, like we had like 8 million screenshots on our phone of people's teeth. Obviously everyone's mouth's different, but I was constantly sending and they just him- said, They said that to us as well. They were TikToks like, and stuff. It'll, it'll be dependent on your face and like your structure and this, this and that. Yeah. And I was just panicking like, oh my God, is he going to- I'm not going to lie, like even a couple nights ago, I was like, oh my God, are you actually, is this, this going to be a- are we gonna regret this? Are you gonna look like yourself? But 10 10, honestly. And um, we wanna come back to Turkey because, well, we wanna try a different part of Turkey. I really wanna come back to Bodrum. I've heard good things about staying there. And but, yeah, but only because the weather's not been great, but you can't judge it off that. No, but that's what I mean. I wanna come back and do it properly in the summer. We've come in yeah. the off season, so I can't hate on it and be like, oh my god, the weather's so bad, because obviously the weather's been bad, but it literally says online that the off season's November. Anyway, she says whilst absolutely dripping in this outfit, this is really cute. This is from Adenola and it's humid today because it's been raining the last two days. So I'm in a little place. So obviously my denim jacket's coming with me and we're going to go get some lunch and then we're going to go mooch about because there's literally nothing else to do here.